I recognize the gentleman from North Carolina, Mr. Hudson, for his five minutes of questioning. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Secretary, for being here today. On President Joe Biden's first day in office, dozens of President Donald Trump's common sense policies maintaining our southern border were reversed. Policies like remain in Mexico, safe third country, Title 42, and border construction was stopped even though the contracts were paid. President Biden and Secretary Mayorkas' open border policies have created a national security and a humanitarian crisis. As a father of a second grader and congressman of the largest military installation in the country, it is heartbreaking and frustrating to see this rapid decline in border security. This administration's open border policies have not only affected our nation's border communities, but all communities, including those in North Carolina. Because of the reversals of these policies, your agency has been overwhelmed. So the decision was made to weaken vetting procedures for sponsors at the expense of the safety of unaccompanied minors and the communities across our nation. As we saw in an investigative report, HHS has undone safeguards in place to make sure children are placed with safe sponsors. The result has been over 85,000 lost children, untold numbers of whom have fallen victim to sex and labor trafficking. Mr. Secretary, you previously sat before me at a health subcommittee hearing on May 12th, 2021. I asked you point blank if you were planning on sending unaccompanied minors to North Carolina. You told me, quote, there is no plan that we have to shelter children in North Carolina, end quote. But your staff has since informed me that the Office of Refugee Resettlement conducted an initial site visit at the American Hebrew, Hebrew Academy in Greensboro, North Carolina on April 22nd, three weeks before your testimony, and that your people actually conducted a full formal site assessment on May 12th, the day of your testimony, your folks were on the ground in North Carolina. Mr. Secretary, it sure sounds like there was a plan to shelter unaccompanied minors in North Carolina. So when I asked you on that day over two years ago, how would you characterize your answer to me? Were you intentionally lying to me and the people of North Carolina, or would you say you were carefully choosing your words to mislead me? Would you say you were being clever? What word would you use to describe your answer to me that day? Congressman, thank you for the question, and uh, I hope you'll understand my answer. I was completely honest with you because you asked me if we were planning to send kids to North Carolina. Two years ago, we didn't have a facility there that we would be sending kids to North Carolina. We go through the constant process, as you probably heard. Well, if, I'm sorry. To, I'm, we I'm look for more. sites okay. all over the country. We are in 27 states. We're constantly looking for sites. Today, we are looking at a particular site in Greensboro, and that is the absolute truth. So what I said to you then was accurate. When I'm saying to you now, I hope you'll understand it will be accurate as well. Well, on the day you said there are no plans, your people were doing a formal second site visit in North Carolina. Congressman, you have to understand the process. We put out a word. We're looking for potential sites. We have no idea what's going to come in. Everyone has an opportunity because we have an open process. They, everyone has a chance to show us if they have a good site. At that point in time, we had no idea if there would be a particular site in Greensboro that we could use. There might have been interest, but we still have, two years later, and we still don't have an open site. So were you care carefully using the word plan? We don't have a plan to try to trick me? No, I was trying to be honest with you. If you ask me about uh, what we, where we are right now with any particular site in Greensboro, I'll give you the details that I can give you today with what I know. But I can't predict, I couldn't have predicted two years ago where we would be today. And we, again, we still don't have a particular center open in Greensboro, North Carolina. Okay. We'll agree to disagree on that. But um, speaking of that, um, I want to know why we even need this facility in North Carolina. There are two influx care facilities in Texas that were placed in warm status, meaning there was no unaccompanied minors in care um, and minimal facility management services on site. Your staff tells me they plan to move the Greensboro Influx Care Facility into warm status next month. To me, this sounds like your department may be wasting taxpayer dollars uh, on two empty facilities in Texas and plan to open yet another one in North Carolina. Um, Mr. Secretary, if two facilities in Texas were moved down to warm status, what factors, though, are you using to move the Greensboro facility up to warm status? Uh, how, how are you using the same factors to justify two contradictory actions? Congressman, fair question. Uh, one of the sites, for example, Fort Bliss, is a military installation. We were able, 2021, when we needed to find places, we, we essentially stood up a site for kids. But Fort Bliss is not supposed to be a, care where you, a place where you care for kids. We're looking for a more permanent site that is more amenable, accommodating to children. And that's where we put out the call from all over the country. One of those sites that 
may ultimately go online is in Greensboro because it is going to be one that we have actually uh, stood up to provide for services to kids, not a military installation. Okay, well, I'm, I'm out of time, but you know, I believe when I asked you two years ago, do you have any plans to put children in North Carolina, to be honest with me, rather than saying, well, we don't have a plan, you should have said what you said today, which is we're looking everywhere. We are looking at a site. In fact, my people on the ground today in North Carolina are looking. It's possible. I mean, that would have been a more complete, honest answer, I think. Congressman, you've approached this I, 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 in a very respectful way, and I, can, I hope I can say this respectfully to you. I hope that you'll find as we develop the relationship and I hope a friendship that I will try to be as honest with you as I can. Well, I look forward to that. Thank you. And I yield Gentlemen back. Yields back.